Okay, so the collation control uh, Krams rule applies when you have something like an oxygen. This could also be uh, something like sulfur. Nearby. And that's because now we don't have uh, these be groups being totally um, uninvolved, they will actually bind to the metal and they will tend to direct the metal towards a certain side. So if we have, say, a Grignard reagent, we would expect to see. held in place between the two oxygens, like pieces. Uh, chelate actually comes from the Greek uh, kilos, meaning crab, because it's grabbing it like with two claws. And if we see the Newman projection, it's sort of stuck on the top there. So what you need to do in this case is Make sure you line up the oxygen, uh, the two oxygens, or the oxygen and the sulfur, whatever it is. Uh, on the top is the way I've done it. We only have two other groups. And so I, and instead of having large, medium, small, like I had for the regular one, I have just shown large and small. And as you would expect, file comes in on the less hindered side. So we would expect then to get a product, something like this, um, show the magnesium actually bound. files come in on this side and it's pushed the R1 group around so we have like that and our product we would expect uh, if we draw the full structure of the product we'd expect to line them up our product, the nucleophile attacked again from the side opposite the small. So as long as you line it up correctly when you start, you don't even need to draw the Newman projections. You can do what we did last time. Just line up the small with where the nucleophile goes. And I have an example here from the literature. And here we have actually a, a double ether, it's, a, uh, it's sometimes called a bomb group, a benzyloxy methoxy group. And this actually has two oxygens on it, so it could potentially um, chelate a third time, but I'm just going to keep it simple. And so if we have an RLI coming in, in this case butyl lithium, We will get um,
this product and in fact when you work it up you do get this as the major product So this is formed, now it's not a, um, with butyl lithium it's only 63% compared to 37% of the other isomer. So that's not a real strong preference, but in fact reaction can be done with lithium dibutyl cuprate. And normally, organic cuprates don't add uh, to carbonyls uh, very quickly, but I guess in this case, uh, the chelation and the conditions of the reaction, um, I'll, I'll put the reference up after this, the conditions uh, do allow it to go in, and in fact, because uh, perhaps it's a bit more controlled in the addition, we get a better Control. So we get 94% now of the predicted isomer. Okay, so next we need to look at the Felkin-Hahn model. <coughs> 